water is one of the most essential component of life. It covers nearly 71% of Earth's surface. Around 97% of the water on Earth is present in sea and ocean. But it is not suitable for drinking and other use as it has high salt content. The fresh water constitutes about 3% of Earth's total water. Due to the increase in pollution and environmental pollution, there is a considerable decrease in a ability of the fresh water on Earth. Pure drinking water has become a precious resource which need to be solved for the future generation. Water cycle. Water cycle means the natural process in which there is a continuous circulation of water from Earth's surface to the atmosphere and back to Earth's surface is known as water cycle. Properties of water. What is the property of water? That is, the water is the chemical component made up of two elements, that is hydrogen and oxygen. These elements combined chemically in a fixed proportional in the ratio 2 is to 1 to form a molecule of water. The chemical formula of water is H2O. The property of the water molecule are different from this of the part of this individual con constituent hydrogen and oxygen. The constituent of water cannot be separated by physical methods. On passing electric current water decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. This is called electrolysis of water. Some property of water. Nature. Water is colorless, tasteless, odorless, and transparent in its pure form. Form of water. Water exists in three different states in nature solid, liquid, and gas. Conductivity. Pure water does not conduct heat and electricity. Water only conduct electricity if there are dissolved impurities that is salt and minerals present in it. Boiling point. Pure water has a boiling point of 100 degree centigrade at sea level. At high pressure, the boiling point of water increases to more than 100 degree centigrade while it decreases at low pressure. If there are inferiority present in water, it boils at a higher temperature. Freezing point. Pure water has a freezing point of 0 degree centigrade at sea level. If there are impurities in water, the freezing point becomes less than 0 degree centigrade. Also, as the pressure increases, the freezing point of the water decreases. Density. The density of water is 1 gram per cc at the 4 degree centigrade. The density of the water is maximum at 4 degree centigrade. Anomalous expansion of water. The volume of water is minimum at 4 degree centigrade beyond 4 degree centigrade water started expanding. This behavior of water between 0 degree centigrade and 4 degree centigrade is called anomalous expansion of water. We will find that the volume of water decreases as its temperature rise from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade and then its volume started increases after 4 degree centigrade. Effect of anomalous expansion of water. In cold region, where the atmospheric pressure fall to 0 degree or below, water on the surface of pond and lake cold and fits into ice. 
the freezing ice fold on the surface of the water as the density of ice is less than density of water as the water is bad conductor of heat the ice layer prevent lo loss of the heat from the lower level level of water thus water below the layer of floating ice has temperature greater than 0 degree centigrade which helps in the survival of aquatic aquatic life present under the net gases dissolve in water and their importance atmospheric gases like oxygen carbon dioxide can dissolve in water dissolved oxygen which is very important for the survival of many aquatic animal is used for the respiration aquatic plants make use of dissolved carbon dioxide to prepare food and release oxygen which is used for fishes soft drinking water that is the soft drink contain carbon dioxide gas dissolved in water at high pressure others gas like ammonia chlorine methane and nitrogen can also dissolve in water water contain dissolve the solid the substance like salt minerals metals or ions which are called the tds total dissolved solid dissolve in water water is a universal solvent water can dissolve in greater variety of substance than any other liquid hence water is also called the universal solvent soluble in water substance that dissolved completely in the water are said to be soluble in water insoluble in water substance that do not dissolve in the water are said to be insoluble in water miscible liquid miscible that is the liquid that dissolve in water are called the miscible liquid that is vinegar and alcohol immiscible liquid liquid that do not dissolve in water are called immiscible liquid that is example oil and petrol solution substance that dissolve that is smaller component is called the solute substance in which the solute dissolve larger component is called the solvent the solute dissolve in the solvent to form a solution that is solute plus solvent form solution a solution is a uniform mixture of a solute is a solvent solutions are homogeneous mixture okay example of solution soda carbon dioxide in the solute water is the solvent salt solution salt is the solute water is the solvent tincture iodine is the solute alcohol is the solvent three types of the solution number one unsaturated solution saturated solution super saturated solution unsaturated solution a solution in which solute concentration is low and more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at a given temperature it's called an unsaturated solution saturated solution a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at a given temperature is called a saturated solution super saturated solution a solution in which there is more amount of solute in the solvent at a given temperature 
it's called a super saturated solution next item mainly question answer okay the difference between following the part surface water and runoff water surface water surface water refers to the water found on earth surface in the form of river stream lake pond sea and oceans runoff water some of the rain water that is the fall on the land flow into low layer area like pond river lakes etc this water that flow of is called runoff water okay solvent and solute difference between the solvent and solute a substance in which the solute dissolves that is water larger component is the solvent solute the smallest part the smallest part is called the solute that is the substance that dissolves that is the sugar smaller component is the solute next difference between the soluble substance and insoluble substance substance that dissolve completely in water are said to be soluble in water substance that do not dissolve in water are said to be insoluble in water saturated solution and unsaturated solution difference between the saturated solution and unsaturated solution a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at given temperature is called a saturated solution again the unsaturated sol unsaturated solution a solution in which solute concentration is low and more solute can be dissolved in the solvent at a given temperature is called an unsaturated solution